Welcome to Lesson 6, Part 2. We're going to do a quick work in the alpha channels, um, which are sort of grayscale selections um, in the channels panel. So you'll see there, there's the models mask, which is the layer mask that's linking here in your layers palette. So in previous versions of Photoshop, this was called um, Refine Edge. The book actually refers to it that way, um, but there used to be a button that would pop up that said Refine Edge uh, of your mask. Now, let me deselect. So I'm gonna click on this, Command click on this, and then I'm gonna get a selection there. And Command Option R, will bring you into your select and mask. We're going to shift the edge. To 36. And add in the hair and the tips look a little bit off. Going to say OK there. Going to save selection. Under select, save selection, call this model, outline, new channel. So if you go into your channels, there's not only the model mask, which is the layer mask here, there's also a model outline. So we'll go back to layers, click the new page icon, which is for new layer. And we're going to slide that below. And you're going to edit. Let's turn this off so we can see what we're doing. Edit. Fill. Black. And usually it's lighter for an. Um, shadow so we'll do an opacity I think it's saying 30 but you can always go ahead and just use your slider bar see if you get to a point where you think it looks good Maybe a little delay in my redraw and there we go now I did not do the puppet puppet effect on mine so I'm gonna go out let me just check if we can spread oops a little bit. Smooth. Just make that a little bit there. Okay. So edit. Fill. Okay. There we go. So that filled in a little bit of the flaws where we didn't have that completely removed. And I didn't do the puppet transform. So in this case, I will just trans command T transform and maybe turn it a little angle so that you can see. Here we are. And we want to go command D for deselect. Check our channels. And now we have a shadow for him. Um, I'm in my move tool. Can work with that there. And you can make it bigger, smaller. And it obviously worked a lot better um, when you have puppet warped him and you can see that a little bit less. I mean, you can see that a little bit more, sorry. Okay, so that's basically using a channel, which if you turn these all off, and you just see this, that is where the alpha channel is. And sometimes when you're in software like um, InDesign, you can turn the alpha channel on and use it as a silhouette. So there's options where once you build that alpha channel in, you can use it for other purposes. In 
um, conjunction with other Adobe software. Um, and you could have it for certain areas. So if this was a more complicated composite and you wanted to, you know, if it's, if it's this gentleman on the right and then you had him facing a woman and sometimes you wanted to just silhouette her or him and work with that alpha channel, you'd be able to do that. Um, so there are very permanent selections. And that's where they're very useful. And um, you can work with them a little bit more in this chapter, but that's a good start. And if you can really get this difference of where your layer has a mask on it, it's masking out the background, which is him on the, um, the window pane here, or if you have a channel where it's just selecting the inside. So there's this idea of foreground and background. It's very helpful when you're working. Sometimes you just want to, this week I was working in a 3D rendered image where there was a 3D logo and I just needed to adjust the background. It was for a wall um, display for a rebranding project. And I just needed to add color and completely change the background and leave the, the logo the same age. And then um, I had to work very heavily with masks and working with that alpha channel would be helpful because when I would try different versions of it, I needed to be able to turn that all on and off. Um, so if you look really quickly in InDesign, Seem to be having some rendition slowness here. This is a really cool tip um, when you're working in something and you just need a quick silo and you don't want to go back and forth. If you've already done the work in Photoshop, you you preserve this. And you can when you do a save, you just save it with your um, save it with alpha channels there. Yeah, well, I've got the beach ball spinning wheel of death, so I'm not going to be able to demo. But when you place a piece of art, here we go. Just okay. Let me go back in and save this. New file, save as. It's trying to do two things at once. I'll call this start valves. See, I'm clicking alpha channels on. So then when I pop over into InDesign, and let's say, I wanna show this on a background. Sorry, it just keeps hopping over. I'll do Command D, place image. Okay, so if you place this, the object, clipping path, options. In here, you can, instead of detect edges, which is usually pretty scrubby, um, that very rarely works with maybe a lot of contrast. You've got your alpha, and then you pick outline. Always have preview on. I just downloaded the new stuff. And now you have your clipping path in another program. So that's another um, integrated tip for the Adobe Master Collection and how you could use that across the board. 
and then you could put him on a different colored background and you can actually adjust this a little bit so here there's a little orange showing and then if you wanted to put him into a colored background I've got two 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 sets of toolbars here so maybe a little confusing to watch here we go we have that alpha channel pulled in as a silhouette in InDesign 